Hi everybody, I've got a 15 minute session that I'm doing for a client. I'm gonna go ahead and read the goals here and get tuned in. Okay, goals are, why is my son Sean not healing? He has tremendous anxiety about everything and stomach problems and nausea even, though he's very careful, even obsessive about what he eats. It's been getting worse over the last few years. Doctors say nothing is wrong. What can I do to help him heal? What does he have to do to heal himself? Hmm. Well, I'll tell you right off the bat, anxiety is an emotional experience and emotions um, have a lot to do with the way that we digest our food. So we digest emotions and we digest food. So for him to have extreme stomach issues would make sense if he has extreme anxiety. So let me just relax here and tune in and we'll see what we can discover today. Okay. And thanks for reaching out and booking this session with me. I'm, I'm really excited to help. Okay. Sean. All right. What can we do to help Sean today? So I'm moving through a very tiny, it's like a tiny tube. It's almost impossible. I have to shrink down really, really, really small in order to move through this tube. So it's a very tight space. It's almost completely closed off. So I'm, a, I'm supposed to relax this down because we need to open things up. That's what they're saying. I shouldn't have to alter my size in order to move through um, this reflection of your son's experience. In order to alter the experience, then we have to alter the energy related to that experience. So we're just going to start here, okay? I'm just relaxing what is like very tightly clenched energy. So if this is a reflection of your son's energetic digestive system, it's so ridiculously tight and nothing is going to go through there unless it has to be um, moved down to very tiny, tiny, tiny little size in order to get moved through there. All right. All right. So I'm just relaxing this down. There's a lot we can discover about this. I still feel like I'm at the surface. Trying to reach your son deep down inside. It's it's like it's safe for him to allow me to access this part of his experience that feels safe to him. And but for me to go deeper and deeper into who he is, he's kind of hiding in, in that process. So I have to create peacefulness and harmony relaxation. It's like trust energy, okay? So I'm relaxing it, it, this very tight energy down and it's solid as well, like rock, like stone, like and it's big. So it isn't just totally relaxed yet, but it is softening up. And I'm just going to keep a part of myself here, just continuing to soothe this soothe this and then I'm going to take a piece of myself and <laughs> we're going to go a little bit deeper here. So I tell your son that it's safe to open up and I show him what I'm seeing here regarding his digestive issues. It's safe to open up to me so that we can go deeper into what makes you feel the most vulnerable, particularly with your anxiety, because I know how anxiety can feel and that can create a lot of digestive issues. All right. So your son takes me to a blocked off section, a place that's totally got, it's like it should be an open doorway, a big open doorway, but there's a rock in front of it. So it's closed off 
and there's not a lot of room to go anywhere else and your sun is a glowing a blue color He's not speaking to me in a language. He's just sort of standing here and hoping that I can um, fill in the blanks with what he's trying to say. I tell him that he's got to be a part of this experience with me. That whatever's on the other side of this, we got to face it together. But the good news is he doesn't have to face it alone. All right, this is definitely connected to the stomach and digestive areas, the upper digestive areas, because I can feel movement in my own stomach. Just stress right now. <sighs> There's a choice to keep moving forward from your son. So it's just release of stress. <sighs> okay, that's better. This is also a bit uh, tuned into the throat here too an expression so anxiety is fear so fear is also an expression um, a communication style um, expression of self and it's it's a part of identity too so throat is all those things all right this rock is dissolving and i feel that um your, this part of your son's consciousness is taking me to a, a space that is still too safe, in my opinion. Um, it's like almost like a distraction and avoidance of going to something even deeper still. Basically, the space is uh, looking down from above at what is like an underground factory. There's lots of people moving boxes and... Um, packages and things like that it looks like a postal like behind the scenes of the post office that's what it looks like down there and there's not a lot of energetic feeling about it it's just it's just like a picture that has no emotion to it so there's not a lot here i will say just simply making the choice to make a step towards um, facing something that is very uncomfortable for his soul um, and then just facing this safe image actually is a pro is progress it's a baby step of progress i'm already feeling e even more um, a softening of the stomach energy so we're gonna just start here for now and I tell him that this is a step in the right direction. So your son is turning from a bluish glow into what looks like a vampire. Like a Dracula figure. And he has a cape. And we're jumping down to this ground floor. And he's kind of a boss personality and he's telling the different workers what their responsibilities are and to keep working, that sort of thing. He's managing. He's managing this whole process. Hmm. I'm wondering now if this process is also um, has something to do. It's tied into the stomach process, the digestive process. You know, we're just looking at boxes and sort of the behind the scenes of the post office, but it is a managing a process. Stomach too, digestion is a process as well. <sighs> Something is getting blurry about the scene and it feels like um, all the images are getting lost. And when that happens, there's what I wanted to find is confusion, but it's not necessarily confusion. It's just like everything blurs and then there's nothing. So what made sense, what was obvious, sensical, um, specific, um, what is being managed, um, what is around the clock, what is working um, smoothly, 
now just becomes all blurred out and everything just doesn't exist like it once had existed. It just, it's like a blip in time takes place. And now everything we thought we knew just goes blip. And your body does experience that. Sean's body experiences that. It's a very strange. And the blip still exists here. I can still see some parts of the original scene out just the peripheral vision, but it's almost like a meteor just came in and hit this place really hard because that wavy line and what sort of just took over the scene is now turning into a giant rock that sort of smashed up um, this process, this smooth process. And now your son, this Dracula character, is like, ah, you know, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to fix this now? You know, it's really just can't believe this. Biggest problem of all time. And it feels out of his control, out of his hands. It was something that happened that's completely beyond my control. And your son is doing everything he can do in order to be in control of the digestive process, but something is coming in and disrupting it out of his control, okay? I know we're just getting through the basics, but his body is talking about this, wants to share this experience like this, okay? I will say the stomach is, is relaxing the more we just look at these scenes and talk about these scenes. The throat is also kind of bulging a bit and expressing itself that it too is feeling a resonance with the scene. Your son is bewildered as this Dracula character and he has no solutions, none. What am I supposed to do if a meteor just decides one day to fall out of the sky and totally destroy everything I've been working so hard to keep running smoothly? What am I supposed to do? I say, I want you to get to know this meteor. I want you to actually get to know this meteor because this meteor is more than just an event. It has meaning and you have a, a connection with it. So why it's landed here in your life, in your experience. So you got to get to know it. Okay. This is the next interesting part. For some reason, your son is keeping himself separate um, from the problem as well energetically like uh, part of his soul doesn't want to participate energetically be a part a part of that digestive process it's like it's bowed out a bit right there so when i'm talking to your son's dracula figure and telling him the importance of getting to know the problem um, there's a major distance there's a major energetic distance and he would rather complain about the problem and about how he's doing everything right and nothing is working He'd rather do that than actually just stop doing that, stop complaining and actually get to know the problem itself. And that's also going to bring his soul energy. Soul energy is for some reason is like bowed out right there. Um, it's going to bring it in and allow the digestive process to be experienced deeply in the soul. Even this is a very, there's a lot of, unknown still about why this is but we're working our way towards a, a greater understanding so what i'm doing right now is i'm bringing your son's energy um his soul i'm tucking it back in okay <laughs> he really resists he really just doesn't want to be a part of the digestive process it's very strange because even when I tuck his soul back in so he can be a part of the experience, a total part of every part of his experience as a human, it still wants to bow out again, it wants to avoid. All right, your son's uh, glowing blue 
and um, we're slowly working our way towards this meteor and as we work our way towards it um, the whole scene shifts and becomes very 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 cold I mean colder than cold colder than you could possibly imagine like space cold impossibly cold it's like so cold it can't even form ice <laughs> It can't even, like, water or liquids can't even exist. It's so cold it can't even form ice. It's, man, this this scene here has, we've got to alter the energy of this. It's really, it's probably the coldest scene I've ever experienced. It's, there's just stress right now. Okay. I'm having him touch this meteor. It's a giant rock. In the coldest place known to the universe. <laughs> it's colder than space. Okay. There's something in the inside in the center of this. And when he touches the meteor, it's like he becomes stuck, frozen himself, and he can't move. So I'm seeing this as a giant, like, Jolly Ranch, uh, not Jolly Rancher, a jawbreaker. A giant jawbreaker, and it has many different layers of colors. Um, so once you, it's like rock layer after rock layer after rock layer. Um, it looks kind of pretty, though, believe it or not, on the inside. But if I can crack it and get to the center of it, then I'll find something, something of meaning in there. Just this alone is, is continuing to loosen up the energy the, of the stomach. The heart is starting to get more involved here too. Starting to feel more heart energy. There's a lot of energy in the mind that's starting to kind of move downward. So it's uh, energy is getting balanced out. It's red on the in the center. It's like the size of a basketball in the center, and it's red. It looks like a baby inside. And there's a thought about exposing this baby to the elements, and it'll be destroyed. So it has to remain inside here so that it's safe. But all of this is an illusion. It's all created by your son for some reason. He's a collective of, of parts of his soul from all different dimensions and times and places. So he's so much. And we can't always understand all that we are at the conscious level. So a lot of his issues are related to something that the mind wouldn't understand. <laughs> something that needs to be reconciled here in the energy level. But I'm telling him, I'm showing him that it isn't cold here at all. You created this. You created this meteor. You created it all to be like this. Because there's something you're not wanting to face. So you're just going to keep creating the most impossible challenges that you're going to have to go through which is just simply avoiding an issue. One issue here. So you're making your life way harder than it needs to be. He's not allowing himself to reach uh, a reflection of love that will change his life. And it is something inside of himself as well. So it's so cold you couldn't exist here in this space, right? This meteor just happens and it just destroys everything. There's a separation between your son and getting to know the meteor which is going to solve all of his problems. So bringing the soul back in, getting to know what's this meteor actually about, um, discovering some things here. Your son gets frozen, can't get to the center of this issue. 
it, it's just distraction after distraction, creating more and more and more separation from re- resolution. And the resolution is extremely simple. It's, it's, it has to do with love. And it's a part of himself that he's trying to access. But there's also um, fear too. Because he's creating an impossible experience. So if this part of himself is set free, it will die. It will be destroyed. But it won't. That's all illusion. That's all manifested illusions. In fact, once that energy is set free, your son is going to go through a total transformation process of his own identity even. Because for him to create this many layers of resistance that that don't that feel like they're out of his control but are actually being created by himself, it's huge. It's a huge 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 thing. So as soon as he chooses to change his relationship with himself, really, I know it's, it's even at the conscious level and talking about it, it may be like, well, what do you mean by that? This is far as I can tell you, okay? But it is an energy related issue and it can come into balance. It can be harmonized. And I, I will tell you that. Very interesting. <laughs> Thank you so much for this experience and for sharing it. And um, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, everybody. Um, thank you again. And I wish you all a wonderful day.